welcome back to another edition of Art Avenue, coming to you from the Roland Art Centre, and I'm going to talk to you about our next art exhibit, which is going to be a joint exhibit. You won't want to miss out on that. Um, some wonderful local artists, um, Rob and Klaus, will be doing a joint show, a mosaic artist, which we caught up to Klaus last week. And um, Rob, we're going to catch up to it shortly, and that goes from April 6th until the 28th, and mark your calendars for Saturday, April 8th, um, right here at the gallery to stop in and check out some wonderful artwork, some soapstones, some um, oil paintings and some mosaics and a whole bunch of other things. You won't want to miss out on that. And our book donations. Everybody knows that we have our annual book sale in May and our book donations are very low. So if you can go and do some spring cleaning in your house and stop by and drop off all your gently used books right here at the Roland Arts Center, the Community Arts Council will be very much appreciated. Um, and we're going to be doing a garden cleanup. So all you volunteers that love to do some gardening, the Roland Arts Center will be needing your help on Saturday, April 22nd from 10 until 12. So if you love to garden, please stop by and help out um, on that day to, um, to make our gardens beautiful because it is done by volunteers and we certainly need your help. Well, I'm going to talk about what's happening at Shars Landing, but um, first we had a chance to catch up with Rob, our current art exhibit at the Roland Art Centre. Started off with oil painting, a bit of glass etching, pen and ink, a uh, little bit of everything and just got into soapstone carving about eight years ago and stuff. I lived uh, about six miles from Tofino, off grid for 13 years. Just loved it, but it was pretty isolated, hard making it back and forth sometimes with storms and the weather, the wind. Nowadays, uh, soapstone. Um, why? Good question. Um, I'm, I'm just really enjoying the three-dimensional aspect. Something else I want to do is uh, stained glass. I haven't tried that yet. Maybe in a few years I'll try that. With paintings, it was mainly landscapes, a few seascapes. And uh, with the carving, I can do, you know, like I say, the three-dimensional um, objects that uh, are just kind of hard to depict in a two-dimensional uh, way sometimes. My first exhibit for this length of time, I've done, done a handful of other shows and, uh, you know, stuff that's for a week, you know, spring art shows and stuff here and there. and, and uh, some of the carvings at uh, other resorts, uh, high-end resorts and stuff. But uh, yeah, this, this will be my first time for a exhibition this long. Well, thanks to Rob, and hopefully you enjoyed catching up on another local artist. It's always wonderful to see um, all the wonderful things that are happening in the Alberni Valley. Uh, now we'll get to concerts, what's happening at Shards Landing. So mark your calendars for these concerts. Tuesday, April 4th is the Andrew Collins Trio, a bit of modern um, roots trailblazer, and they are five-time Juno nominated and seven-time CFMA winner. So check out that concert. On Friday, April 7th is a dance concert with San Felix Band, a bit of indie rock and um, roll. On Saturday, April 8th is Gord Phillips Band, and that is folk rock and rockabilly trio. On Thursday, April 13th is Kendall Patrick and that's his CD release tour. A um, bit of folk songwriter and roots. And Saturday, April 15th is Rick Scott and Nico Rhodes and that's a bit of roots and groove. So for any of those concerts, stop by Shars Landing for your advance tickets today. Well, that's it for another edition of Art Avenue, but a few reminders before I go. The call to artists for the um, exhibits to happen here in the gallery in 2018, they're already at the Roland Arts Centre, so stop by and pick up your applications today. And our second annual Solstice Arts Festival is coming up, and we have lots of activities happening that day, and we are still looking for artists to um, take part in Days with the Arts right here um, on the grounds of the Roland Arts Centre, so if you're interested in renting a table for the weekend, stop by for your application. And the Community College books. I've been talking about those for weeks and we're very excited about those. Um, they are going to be available up at the Tourist Centre um, and the Museum as well as the Roland Art Centre. So pick up your copy today and that was the Roland Art Centre I had to put my teeth in. And the Community Arts Council membership. So it's always wonderful to have new members but it's time for renewal of um, past members as well and it's very important for the future of the Community Arts Council and to help local artists. Another reminder that the Roland Art Centre is wheelchair accessible and we do accept donations and we'd love to see you. So if you're around, stop by the Roland Art Centre today. And then this is one of the mosaics from our next um, art exhibit right here at the Roland Art Centre, so check it out. So anyway, so next time, I'm Melissa Martin and the Crows for Art Avenue.